welcome back to Perth City Talks. We are at the NIF Next 100 Influential Awards. We are here tonight with the Honourable Lord Mayor, Lisa Scafidi. Can you please tell me, Lisa, what does this Small Business Awards Night mean to you and the City of Perth? Oh, I'm very inspired by this evening because we really need to focus on the great work that small and medium enterprises do for the greater City of Perth. We really are perhaps largely unaware of the amount of economic activity that they drive for our city. Uh, there are many service sectors and industries that are well serviced by the small and medium businesses uh, around here and they are people taking responsibility responsibility for themselves, supporting a lot of people, employing a lot of people and certainly channelling a lot of what's needed in our city to the right people. consultancy business so I specialize working with image and first impressions I work with individuals businesses and larger corporations in everything that is related to your image and how you present yourself so you create impact and be remembered for the right reasons and what are you gonna do for the rest of the evening so I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of the evening I've got lots of friends here so I'm just gonna just wait and see who wins have fun just they work with some new people and just yeah enjoy the night and how do you feel about the event tonight um, you know as far as the organisation and coming together of all of the small businesses? Well, I, I thought it was an amazing idea. It's something that it hasn't been done before, I guess, in this, in this way. And it's just lovely just to be recognised for working in, this small in the industry of the small businesses. And it's just great to catch up with people and just be able to vote for people you admire and you just recognise that are doing a great job. What a fantastic and wonderful event tonight. How are you feeling? I love it. It's great to see so many friends and so many familiar faces in one room. And it really is the best of the best of the Perth small business community. It's great to be here. And thank you to Zeeshan for doing such a great job organizing it. I started my own business two years ago now. I just celebrated my second anniversary, so I'm really chuffed. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It does feel like a big milestone. And I've been in Australia for three years and I came here to change my life and start afresh and that's exactly what I've done. To be able to start your own business coming from a stale economy in the UK is just such an, a privilege. Well, the business is called Forward, Rewarding Databases, and we help business owners to profit from their client database. So to strengthen and grow their database and profit from the connections that they have and we help them to improve their sales and marketing processes and all of their accounting and account management, employee management. So we work with a CRM software which is a client relationship management software and it helps businesses to manage all of the operations in their business. I have a delicious soup sandwich it seems. <laughs> Can you tell me how do you feel about business in Perth at the moment? Uh, well there's a lot of um you know, different people, think, you know, depending on the smaller side of town or the upper side, of, the top side of town. I think the end, uh, smaller end of town, uh, the, the optimism is still there. But the uh, top end of town, I think, you know, with all the uh, unemployment and everything, yeah, they're not, not that enthusiastic, yeah, not that positive, yeah, correct. I, I love tonight, I think I'm, I'm very privileged to be among the top 100 small business entrepreneurs. So fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> So a very special night for you indeed. Yes, it is. And uh, we are also one of the sponsors. So we are very glad to be among very special professionals. Yes. Yeah. And can you tell me a little bit about your business? Yeah, so we are um, a very family-based uh, financial planning firm. And we provide financial advice for uh, moms and dads who want to create their wealth for the long term. Yeah. Very important. Absolutely. But not as important as you. <laughs> you're very kind, you're very kind. Now back to business. Yes. How important is it for people to plan ahead? Because we are a very a society that spends on credit quite often. I think it's extremely important to put into place a small budget. And that budget may not be the last thing you need to do, but it's a guideline to provide you a base where you can know where your incoming cash is and outgoing expenses is. By doing that, you'll be able to understand where your surplus income is. I guess it's surprising how many people actually don't budget on a yes. monthly basis. Yes, that's right, yes. So a lot of my clients, what we provide is a 
value-added service to prepare a budget for them to make sure that the cash flow is as positive as can be. Rick, nice to see you this evening. Yeah, nice to be here. It's, uh, it's a very, very big gathering, isn't it? It is, it certainly is, and everyone's very positive. They are. There's, uh, there's some real enthusiasm in the room, and uh, I love seeing these sort of people, you know, that are uh, in business and trying to improve themselves. You have quite a, a lot of longevity in business, so what, what advice could you give? Oh, look, I think, I think the real thing is to have a real plan, to know exactly what your roadmap is and where to go. And the second thing, and it's, this is not so easy, is to have enough capital behind you to be able to survive through those really bad times, and that's a, that's, that's a difficult one for a lot of people. Sometimes you can manage to get through, but it's very important to have that sort of backstop. I diversified it in as much that we changed direction within the, still sticking within the industry, but changing different categories and so on and trying to keep away from the, the more competitive lines and moving into more of a niche market. I got my belling stove from you. Oh, did you really? Beautiful. I did. Yeah. I love belling. The belling is a wonderful product, yeah. How has your business, how did it grow from a small business into the business that it is now? Okay, yeah. Look, I think, you know, what happens with a, with a business, when you start up a business, you don't ever have the end, the end in mind. It's always a, a, a growing situation. And, uh, and I mean, I set up a, a very small business uh, in the start and then it just sort of grew and grew. Um, then we said, oh gee, we need another store because we can't cope with the way it is and open another one. Then that sort of led to another one and, and then you're sort of on a roll because uh, people sort of come to you with offers and so on and you know. And it, but, but I think that the thing is that you never ever s start off with that in mind. It's really for the now and what comes along is, is uh, how it all develops. Vona, congratulations. Thank you, thank you, Nadia. Um, I'd like to really thank to everyone who was voting for myself because your votes um, gave us an opportunity to believe that what Mind Sinada is standing for is actually an opportunity for everyone. So I'd like to really thank to everyone for votes because uh, it's now up to you guys to come along on a journey to make a difference with connecting businesses and communities. And your vote is our yes to Mind United to what we're doing that actually makes sense. You look to me like a young lady who knows how to enjoy her award. I do. Yes, absolutely. And I'm very much enjoying my award. But I can't get my drink out of the glass. <laughs> it's a bit early. Creative Fruition is a marketing and comms company. Uh, we have a very eclectic range of clients that we work for. Uh, at the top end of town, we do work for BHP Billiton, uh, Western Power and clients like that. But we also work with a range of small, medium enterprise clients and um, we help them uh, basically grow their businesses and work on their marketing and comms for them. I love working with Zishan and being involved uh, with him and um, i just like to say that Zishan does an amazing job for uh, businesses and helping them promote themselves etc in Western Australia and um, he's a great guy and uh, you know, just does such good, great community work. We're TFS Corporation, we're the world's largest grower and producer of Indian sandalwood and Indian sandalwood I'm so excited now. You know, Indian sandalwood is the world's most valuable hardwood and it's used, it's distilled down and used in the production of perfumes like, uh, like Chanel Number no. 5 is probably the most famous and it's also used in pharmaceutical products um, and religious ceremonies and things like that. 75% of our planet plantations are grown in Kununurra, 15% in the Northern Territory and 10% in Queensland. And this is because Indian sandalwood in, from India is now quite rare. It's, um, it's not allowed to be exported from India. It's grown in, in Australia with Indian sandalwood uh, seeds that we propagate 
and grow ourselves. Uh, and it's a parasitic plant. It grows uh, with a host and we supply the host plants with the original plant to give it life through its lifespan. So a lot of hard work has gone into this evening. Quite a lot of hard work, but it's come off pretty well, so we're quite happy. And are you pleased with the attendance? Absolutely, couldn't be more pleased. We've got a few special guests, so we're quite happy. Yeah, lovely to have the Honourable Lord Mayor here with us this evening. Absolutely, and Rick Hard and Lisa Marie Fernandez, we've had a few guests. It's just a fantastic event and it's a fantastic chance for us to connect with people that we don't know as well because there's a lot of people nominated for awards that we haven't connected with as well. So it's a good kind of chance to connect everyone together, I guess. And I mean, of the small businesses that work from home, it's, it's lovely for them, obviously, to have some sort of recognition, which doesn't normally happen in that environment. Absolutely. And working from home, as you know, you know, it's really isolating and it's fantastic to come to somewhere and really feel like you're part of a team, which is, I hope, what NIF Next does. And that's what we aim to do. We've um, just started NIF Next TV, so we're doing sort of YouTube segments with small business owners in Perth addressing small business problems. So, great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, what a fantastic event to cover tonight. I'm Nadia Hunter. Please join us next time on Perth City Talks.